Do you ever feel bloated, tired, or just plain uncomfortable after eating roti, bread, or pasta? Many people blame gluten, but is it really bad for everyone or only for some? Let's get the facts straight. Gluten is a natural protein found in grains like wheat, barley, and rye. It acts like glue, giving bread and roti their soft, stretchy texture. For most people, gluten is completely harmless and a normal part of a healthy diet. You can find it in obvious foods like roti, naan, bread, pasta, biscuits, and cakes. But it can also hide in sauces, soups, soy sauce, and even some packaged spices. The problems with gluten are specific to certain medical conditions. The main ones are celiac disease, an autoimmune disorder where gluten damages the gut, non-celiac gluten sensitivity, where gluten causes discomfort without gut damage, and wheat allergy, a true food allergy. There are also rarer related conditions. Healthy people without these issues do not need to avoid gluten. Symptoms can be tricky. They include digestive troubles like bloating, pain, and changes in your stool, but other symptoms like constant tiredness, headaches, brain fog, joint pain, or skin rashes can also be signs, especially in celiac disease. Sometimes symptoms appear days later, making gluten hard to pinpoint. There is no pill or permanent cure for these conditions. The main treatment is a gluten-free diet. However, this is a serious medical step, not a lifestyle trend. You should never diagnose yourself. If you have severe or lasting symptoms, you must see a doctor and get tested before you stop eating gluten, or the tests won't work. For those who medically need it, safe, naturally gluten-free foods include rice, corn, millets like jowar and bajra, all fruits and vegetables, pulses, eggs, meat, fish, nuts, and seeds. Remember, gluten is not a universal enemy. Avoiding it without a medical reason can lead to a less balanced diet. Listen to your body, but let a doctor guide you. True health is about personalized, smart eating, not following food fears.